All right, in this game, we've got the Broncos offensive playbook. Now, this is one of the most underrated playbooks in the game, in my opinion. I think it's really, really good. It's got a great gun bunch. It's got a great tight offset. It's also got a trips tight end offset, which is really good, because I, if I remember right, it's got an 0-1 trap in their trips. So, really, really nice to have. I think we'll even start in that formation just to... So, we've got somebody right away, right? Like, immediately, they're coming out in dollar. And our whole thing out of this, we're going to see if you've got run defense on dollar. If you do, great. Looks like you got an instant block shed there. I think that's a little bit lucky. Because um, he's probably not going to be able to do that all game. But whatever. It happens. Then we've got PA Seams. Literally one of the best plays in the game. So we'll, we'll start with a couple of different things, right? So he's running spinner. That means he's running the man version of dollar, which is very very good don't get me wrong but still something that i think we should be able to you know combat here a little bit so we're gonna snap this ball good cut it off touchdown 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 there we go randy run for it there we go little juke on here at the last second all right so good game again running spinner we've got that deep corner out we're able to pick up the blitz there with the play action um it again this is just one of the better playbooks in the game it just is so this halfback counter should do really well against spinner also um we've got numbers to one so there we go so it's out of one over so this should just give us a pretty good lane if we can just beat one. Oh, and we get a block shed right at the last second there otherwise we were gone i probably should have cut it to the inside that was my mistake um this doesn't have a quick man beating play out of their trip side end set so it's a little bit disappointing, uh, but for the most part, it's it's still really good, right? Um, I'm going to try this RPO alert wide receiver screen. And he's got people moving over there. I don't know what happens if we just flip this. And we're going to double team this guy. Actually, double team this guy. See if we can snap this here. There we go. We got the break tackle. Needed one more. Um, so we're getting there. Trying out a few runs here. So let's go to offset. And I think this is always the hard part price in the in the game to score, right? But this is actually a really, really good time to use the play PA seams. Not for like the routes on the play, but because you get the play action. And this play action is very, very good because it's gonna set up us to be able to pick up this blitz so we're just going to stand here the blitz will get picked up and high ball and complete it so there we go randy gets us down the field we get easy yards against one of the you know the most meta defense in the game we're playing spinner and he's out of here he doesn't want to play against us so that's going to be game one we'll do another game with the broncos however all right in this game let's see if we can get the opponent to stay in the game here uh you get a lot of that right um, for some reason, people run Spinner, and you kind of just are able to beat their basic version of Spinner. Like, he wasn't doing any crazy adjustments out of it. He was just setting the, the normal blitz over and over and over again, and you beat it one time, they get out of the game. So, um, on defense here, we are running the multiple defense, defensive uh, ebook on winmadden.com. And on offense, again, we're using the, the Denver Broncos offense. So... I do think I form Z close. We should be able to stop the run out of this. We're going to just deep third the left side there just to try to take away. And that's a good run. Really good run stick there. Uh, this is not a good start. Not a good start. We gave up a touchdown on the very first play. So we're running dollar there. That just got absolutely run over. So I think we're going to have to take a look at maybe going to nickel over. Um, but... I guess we don't have to worry about starting the game on defense, give up a quick seven points, whatever. Um, but that is the weakness of dollar. If there is a formation that um, can beat it, it's like a really run-heavy set. But even when people come out in a run-heavy set, I'll typically go to dollar just real quickly just to see can you actually beat it, or are you just like threatening that you can beat it with a run-heavy set? So. He did a good job. It was a good run stick. He's clearly even using the left stick for the, the advanced cuts. So maybe we're playing against a true runner here. But we'll just pull out nickel over. And we should be just fine. So on offense, though, this is the strength of the Denver Broncos playbooks. And it truly is 
one of the best in the game. So we'll come out in... I think we'll start in this trips here. Put the 01 trap in there. I like stick just because of that one route. And then we'll come out in X under. So we've got a corner route. Even if you don't have hot route master, this corner route on X under is really good. Uh, this might be a cover four. And if it is, that X receiver normally does a really nice job. So we're going to definitely give it a shot here. And he kind of ran into him there. So we'll take the check down. Gain almost no yards. But I think that was a cover four. Yeah, it was a cover four. Might have been a, actually a straight cover four. The That X route on stick normally just beats him. Uh, which is why I really, really like it. Now, I, I want to see if uh, he ends up playing match out of this. Or if he ends up just kind of staying in what he's in. I gotta click onto that. I gotta take the check down. Again, he's got a zone drop set to a million yards. I gotta just take that check down. Uh, let's go to tight offset. Just kind of mix it up here. We'll put 01 trap in there. And we'll come out and Y out. So he's got zone drops again set to a million yards. So the check down will be there, presumably. And it's not match. So what we're really looking for here is can I throw this quick throw to the running back? And then if not, the extra on the left side should be open. So we're going to take the quick throw. Just go get our first down. And again, if they're not playing hard flats or anything, we have to force them to play some type of hard flat. I mean, you just have to. Like, you can't let your opponent getting away with, get away with playing zone drops at a million yards every single down. Um, here, I think I want to just try what the run game will look like. And I think this is the guy I got to double team for this. We'll just take a look. I might even take the, the RPO on it. I'm going to, in fact. And we'll go get, you know, five, six yards there, something like that. Second and five. Keep it second and manageable. And it looks like he just wants to stay in that, so... That's fine. We're going to stay in this trip's tight end offset formation. And here is where I think we'll we'll take a, a little bit of a look at where the zone drops are. Zone drops still seem to be set to a million there, and he got an instant shed by his X-Factor Furious George. Ouch. That hurts. We're kind of in a precarious position now, right? We don't have uh, a, a lot of great prospects because he's playing, again, zone drops at a million. And we're going to have to find a way to get some time and some room. So, again, I might take the quick check down to the running back. We're not glowing, which kind of sucks, but it's what it is. Again, it's there. We're going to take it. We'll get the free block. And, you know, almost get a first down. So we've got fourth and really manageable, right? Fourth and one. And that's that's just screaming for going for it regardless. But uh, we'll come out and play X spot. Um, I would imagine he's, adjust he's adjusting his zone drops right now to probably play something a little bit lower. So we're going to do something like this. And if he's got zone drop set to zero, then we've got A right behind it. Or we've just got that guy, so we'll get this guy over the middle. Perfect little route combo there. And Calvin Johnson's going to take this to the crib, tie the game up. So, 7-7. Seven, seven. Now, again, he did man up the running back in that case, but it just cleared out the middle of the field, and his user just completely misplayed the in route that we had. They were just wide, wide open. And then we had lead blockers up there with Gronk and our other receiver. Easy touchdown. Uh, but we're going to have to figure out how to stop the run game, right? So this is probably going to have to be something where we go to nickel over. Maybe even dime normal. Uh, dial up something to be able to stop the run. But uh, it looked like he kind of knows what he's doing with the run stick. So we'll have to be concerned about that a little bit. Now, I'm still a big believer in kicking to the corner. Hopefully, oh, actually, they might even... As you look into next year, the NFL is changing the rules, it seems like, where uh, if you do a fair catch on a kick return, just like you do in college, but it sounds like it's going to bring it right up to the 25-yard line. So if that's in the game, then you know that might just automatically solve that problem. Again, I don't know. It'd be nice to see some type of fix for that. So 
He's going to Z close again. We're going to go to something like this. I want to see if he can run the ball like this. He's going to try. And this time we've got him swallowed up for no gain. So does he have an offense other than just running stretch? Uh, yes, he got a, a cheesy touchdown in the first play of the game, but is he going to be able to consistently do that? We're going to find out now. And I do have the match setting on. You can see that I've run this a lot, like 1,500 times out of this. Uh, why off trio weak? That still seems like he probably wants to run the ball out of that. We'll do something like this. And my responsibility is to left flat. See if he actually throws that or not. Nope, still a run. Yep. <laughs> so we've got somebody who just wants to run the ball, right? You've got Drew Brees with the quad stack where he's got, you know, all the throwing abilities that you could want, but he still wants to run the football. So now we're going to come out in dollar. And we're just going to cover through the right side. We can do something like this. I'm even going to guard the flat on the left. Just take away a streak route. So I can see a post route or some type of running back route. Yep, there's the post. Hey, good dot. That was even with an outside third over there. That should have never been open. I'll be interested to see that route combo. What that play was. Is that There's literally an outside third on that side of the field. That, that probably should have been taken away. Oh yeah, it's one of those... Kind of zig routes together there. So the action wide receiver in. Just noted. We'll have to worry about that. Again, we're going to try to stop the run here. Our responsibility is left flat. See if he's audible and to just... Yep, something up the middle. No good. So we've been able to shut down the run ever since he... You know, got the first play touchdown, but apparently we're going to have to also worry about him getting a little cute with pass plays, too. So, again, left flat. That's me. Get out right there. Still really wants to run the football. That should have been a loss of yards, and he gains three on it. Wow. Okay. Something like this. Oh, good cut. Third and three. Still showing the ability to be a competent player, so we're not playing against a scrub, that's for sure. Pick. There we go. <laughs> we were ready for it that time. We knew what play he was calling. Uh, we put a zone drop, light blue zone out there at 20 yards, I believe. And we're able to take it to the crib. So we made the adjustment. We were ready for it. And he threw it anyway. So great adjustment on defense there. We we came out in a cover four, but we created a cover two. And we just had double ma or we had a Mabel on each side, so we ran a double Mabel defense. Um, but what I really like about that is it'll show a cover four in the play art, right? Because we're playing Mutt Champs here. And they're going to assume, oh, it's still a cover four. I'm going to be able to throw those out routes, or I'm going to be able to throw that, you know, that crossing pattern wide receiver in play that uh, he beat us for that one time. And, you know, it, it it's not there. <laughs> so he, he was just trusting it, thinking we were still in a cover four, and we were able to pick it off and take it the other way. So good adjustment. Now, again, he clearly wants to run the football, and we're just not going to let him. And I think that's that's going to be key to what we're trying to do here. So now I'm going to come out and cover three. I just want to show something a little bit different here. Uh, i got to guard the seam on the left, but it's going to be really hard for him to attack that seam on the left. Uh, another run play. I was not expecting that. Okay. Go ahead. Get your run plays in. Get them out of your system. 
like it. I think, that, I think he did that maybe because I just didn't uh, compress my defensive line. I don't know. Whatever. Something like this. And make him earn it down the field here a little bit. I'm going to actually go on this guy this time. We'll see if he continues to go to that, because we'll just adjust a little bit. Oh, again, the maple. Turn to cover four into a cover two real quickly. He's going for the touchdown. He's got it, too. I'm not there in time. And we did not get the knockout. Great adjustment by him. Just a streak by the tight end. I wasn't ready for it. We almost got home with the pressure. We had to pick if he would have thrown it to the outside again. But good adjustment. So we're going to have to keep that inside. Maybe an inside third over there. Something like that. We are playing against somebody who knows what they're doing and kind of running an off-meta style, which is it's fun, right? We're at the end of May. We're almost in June. So, good to see somebody running something new. Love it. But again, we just need to be better with our user. We literally just watch the tight end run by us. Totally was my responsibility. Now, minute 22, no matter what, we just want this to be the last possession of the first half. We get the ball coming out of the second half. We got the one stop in here. So that that's the key. Just make sure this is the last possession of the half, no matter what. That's, that's really all we need to do. Now, this is probably a cover three. I don't like the look there. We're going to run verticals. And I'm essentially just kind of hoping that he's not in... Uh, man here, because if he's in man, I'm screwed. I'm going to throw the ball away, but if he's in cover three, we've got a chance here. We're going to have to take this check down here. Again, those zone drops are just set to a billion yards. So let's come out an X under. I don't know that we're going to be able to throw a corner out. I'd really like to throw a corner out here, but I just don't know that we're going to have it. Now, on the right side of the field, uh, we might be able to squeeze this in. Because, and there's got to be a pass interference. I was waiting for the B there. Yeah, legal contact. Good. So I was waiting for the B receiver to clear because it looked like his user misplayed it. He thought he was on a streak and he was just on a simple um, kind of crossing route-ish type of thing. Now here, this is a opportunity for me to... You know, just show him a little bit something different. He's been manning up that guy. Now, depending on what his zone drops are, I could be looking at A, but I could also be looking at the running back underneath. But I'm not going to have a lot of time, so it's got to be a, a pretty quick read here. And we're able to hit that to the tight end. Really nice gain. We're in great position. Clock is moving, but we're okay with that. PA seems just the best play in the game this year. That and PA cross. It's, it's one of those two, just consistently. Probably should have called timeout. But again, zone drops are at a million. We'll take the check down, get out of bounds. I don't know if we got out of bounds. Sometimes there's a delay here, and the clock starts ticking late. Did not in this case, so that's good. Uh, PA seems is really the play, though. So even three points here is great, but we really want seven. Um, and I'm going to end up with a timeout in my pocket, which is awful. But it'll be okay. Um, here, we're going to check the zone drops again. Uh, does he zone drop? Does he end up with, you know, something where we are able to just hit the running back quick here? Zone drops again. Boom. Again, running back quick. Get out of bounds. Ten yards. We waste three seconds. Perfect. We don't need it all at once. We can chunk our way down the field. No big deal at all. Now, we've been working the outside, working the outside, working the outside. Got to imagine he is kind of expecting us to continue to work the outside, but we'll see. We're going to go to bench here. So we're going to run a simple corner out to the outside. We're going to hit him with that same route combo. 
did before. Right over the middle, got X. We got a timeout. So we're in good shape here. Again, his user caught whack in there a little bit. Same exact route combo as before, though. And now we can kind of mix in a couple different things out of the trips tight end offset formation. So this is really hard to guard down here. We got this counter play, which I don't like right here. But we'll see if he is playing the the RPO at all. And then we're gonna double team this guy also. RPO is not being played. Oh, he got an instant shed there. Instant. I mean, instant. My my wide receiver did no blocking whatsoever. And then we can do an R or a, a read check as well. Just see if he's got an answer for this, and then we're probably handing this off no matter what. But let's see here. There we go. Easy touchdown. All right. So very difficult formation to guard in the red zone. Uh, the runs, the RPOs. Um, if you really want to stop those RPOs, oftentimes you get a pass commit, which leaves you really susceptible to just a, a read option or an O1 trap right up the middle. And stopping an O1 trap, you got to stand in a certain spot. Stopping a read option like that you gotta stand in a different spot with just a simple inside zone so really the perfect drive right four seconds on the clock we get the touchdown um i mean the only thing i guess we could have asked for a little bit better was no time on the clock but four seconds will do and we've got the wind we're just gonna kick it deep here i don't know, even know if he can return this but should put us in a really good spot yeah he can't even return it so if I'm going to guess, he's going to come out in that Z-close formation. And... Oh, okay. Guess not. We're going to switch it up and we're just going to run man here. I did pass commit. And I was ready. He was going for the bomb. But that is a cover four bomb. It's a very good try. But we were ready for it. Switched it up to man just to show them a little something different. So here we go. Second half now. We're up seven. We got the ball. We're in a great spot. I mean, I can't complain at all, for sure. And again, I feel very, very confident that we're going to get points every single time with the Broncos offense. Like, don't get me wrong. I can absolutely make a mistake. I can make a mistake with the best of them. But... I do truly feel that they're, they're, they're pretty straightforward plays, and we haven't even gotten a bunch yet. Like, we've just been in this trips tight end offset and um, tight offset TE. So we really haven't done even the extent of this playbook by any, um, any version of what it's fully capable of. Um, here it looks like cover four again. So, let's try this. He's going to have to play that RPO. He didn't, but I should have just thrown the RPO there. He probably had 15, 20 yards. There's nobody out there. So, he's been in zone every single time, I think. I don't think we've seen man at all out there. So, the reason I'm bringing that up is... I've tried to run the counter play a few times, but I haven't actually been able to run it because we've been overloaded to one side and it's always been the, the side that I want to throw on. Now, here, this is something where we've shown that we're throwing right pretty much every time here. There's still nobody over there. At some point, he's got to respect that, right? It's just a simple running back wheel route, but he's got his zone drop set so deep that there's just no hope of him getting it, but at some point he's got to respect that, you'd think. Um, but uh, I, I guess not. So here, let's just go with an RPO alert screen. See, he's got so many people on the right side of the field here. Like It just feels like we need to run towards the left side. And, you know, he did a good job there. He got an inside stuff to activate and then his user came through but we're still able to get the first down um i think i should have run this rpo alert bubble and just ran the bubble screen behind it probably would have been better 
Um, we'll go to something different out of tight offset TE. And here I think we'll look at doing the same thing. I think on the left side we're going to end up with X wide open, but we'll see. He's usering that over there, yet yeah, X is just wide open because of the zone drops. And again, refuses to play hard flats. I mean, absolutely refuses to do it. And we're not even flipping the play. Like, <laughs> we're, we're literally just kind of running the plays and whatever that happens out of them happens out of them. Um, again, we're going to do something similar here. I'm going to make it look like that running back route is going out there. And then we'll put the tight end on a streak route and just have that B route coming underneath. I wasn't able to get it off. Doing too much time talking to you guys. Uh, but we're going to do something similar. We're going to be able to attack the outside, um, depending on how deep his zone drops are again. We'll see. Um, he refuses to drop him down, but we're going to streak the tight end. We're going to put that running back again on the wheel. And, and in fact, I'm going to put the tight end on a post route because I think he's going to end up manning up that linebacker uh, just to the right of his user on the running back. And then he'll probably go guard B. And then we're just going to have A on the backside. There's the man up. And they actually just kind of all ran together. It was a bad route combo by me. So, second and 15. And he was actually a man, also. So, everything bad by me. Just terrible. <laughs> For not knowing he was a man. Let's see if he does that again. I'm just going to motion quick. I want to see if somebody follows. So we're in zone here. We just do something like this. And I had a wide open over the middle, but I thought his user was going to work back toward it, so I just didn't throw it. Third and 15, no. Uh, not, not a... Not a real good drive by me here. So he's doing the the big brain thing of coming out and cover one and cover three and you know just mixing it up between them because they look the same. Single high safety. See, here's cover one. We're just going to run something like this. He's going to have to go guard the Y receiver or the A receiver. Not going to be able to guard both. And then we'll also have the running back. He did not win that battle very well. <laughs> but we got another fourth and one. Uh, we'll have to pick up the yards here, but did not win that battle. Is he out? Is he out? Is he out enough? No? Just pausing because we caught it? All right. I went and user caught it. I don't know what you want me to do. I think we'll go to that same play, though, because I know we can user catch it. And just click on and grab it. That's one of those routes, one of the corner routes in the game. It's kind of a rounded off corner route where you can just click on and go get it. Um, so it's always nice to have. And let's just motion over here. We're in zone again. And we're going to go to PA seams. And something like this. At the tight end. Big game. All right. So that motion is literally just to tell me, is somebody following me over to the other side? If they do, it's man. If they don't, it's zone. And because it's a single high safety, you know it's a cover three. Um, when you're looking at that play, it's either a cover three or a cover one defense because of the single high safety. And by using the motion, you can just tell whether it's man or zone. So really simply here, I motion this guy over. Nobody follows him. This is a zone defense. And we'll run something like this. And again, we just gotta get time. X is gonna be open here. Good click on. We're able to get our feet down before the knockout gets there, and we're down to the four. So again, we just don't want to turn the ball over here. Uh, I'm just double checking them on conservative. We're gonna go to that trips tight end offset. And again, all we need to do get three points. That's it. Work the clock, get three points. Even if we take this to the fourth quarter and we. I think this is probably man coverage here. Um, but even if we take this to the fourth quarter and only end up with three points, that's okay in my book. But we'll just, I guess, walk into the end zone for a touchdown. Um, so, again, solid drive. My uh, 
my first, uh, I guess, not drive, but first uh, set of downs was a little bit of a struggle, right? He started switching up his defense, and I made a couple bad reads. Um, but he broke out some man, he broke out some cover three, he started to mix up his coverages, and that's kind of a lesson, right? It's a lot harder to beat somebody when you switch up your defense and you don't run the same defense every time. So, anyway, we're up two touchdowns. And Broncos offense, super solid. Really is. I think it's really, really good. This is actually one of those offenses I had for free on winmadden.com. Check out below, right? For free, right there. Uh, go sign up for a free membership. You get the Broncos offense in there. Uh, so let's go to nickel. I do not have zone drops on. Or I do have zone drops on, I mean. Um, and my purples are set to five. So we should... Actually, I think they're set a little bit higher. I should have double-checked that. Um, there's a nice little draw play. Good for him. You can run a draw all day if you want. No big deal. Yeah, I gotta set those to five. We'll set these to 25. Actually, let's set those to 20. So I wanna see if they will play the little out route that he likes to throw out of this formation. All right, end of the third. Again, still up two touchdowns. We're in good shape. We got the one stop on him. And ever since he, you know, really just wants to run the ball, this is the problem with being a runner. He, if he truly wants to move the football here, he's going to have to abandon the run game. Like, he's just going to have to. Now, I'm going to guard the flat on the left. Is that really going to beat me down the middle? Wow! That was just a simple streak route against a, a deep quarter. A non-matching deep quarter there. Wow. Maybe he's got something something special with that play. Interesting. Was not expecting that. Okay. So he's got Bazooka and Breeze now, too. Pick. All right. Go, Carter. Take it to the crib. There's the out-of-position Chris Carter card. 99 speed on my team, great hands. Like, this is a an undervalued card. It is absolutely phenomenal. He threw into just a huge amount of coverage there. It was a big mistake. I'm gonna hit the start button for him too because he used his pause. But Chris Carter to the crib. Love to see it. As a Vikings fan, that's always nice to see. Well, it was a big. It ended up being a big tackle by my safety. Uh, it stopped the touchdown, and he ended up throwing a pick six on the next play. So huge tackle. I gotta look into that play that he's running now, because um, that beat a that beat a stock cover four non-matching right down the middle of the field. 99 speed players, 99 awareness everywhere too. 99 zone, 99 awareness, 99 speed. Still beat it. I'm just going to hit the start button here just to see if he quits out. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But otherwise he won't get an opportunity to. Alright, he wants to keep playing. Neither of us ever pauses now, buddy. Alright, so he's going to go to that same play. Now... I'm going to make a couple small adjustments. First of all, I'm going to send the blitz and run pass commit. And then I'm going to inside third that deep safety on the right side. Uh, the center right. So he should play that a little bit better. And we locked it down. Good. Perfect adjustment. Took it away. Again, we just put an inside third on our deep safety on the right side. Here, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm not going to blitz. Let's see if he goes to the out route to the left side. That's my guess. I'm not willing to to commit to that fully by adjusting, but let's just see if that's what he does. He's going to get a delay game, and we're definitely going to accept that. So again, my guess here would be that out route to the 
um, number 81, the receiver on the left side is probably Kelvin Johnson. Gotta be. Yep, there's the out route. So, again, I'm just, I'm, I'm too scared to, to put that zone over there at this point in the game. Like, we're, we're in good shape. We don't, we don't need to worry about that too much. Actually, here's a good opportunity because I can deep half the left side. So we got a Mabel on the left. I've got the short zone. And um, that other route will have the inside zone. We'll take this. Good. We had it bagged. Again, took away the routes that he wanted to throw there. Exact same setup here. Not gonna change a thing here. No, just absolutely big. All right, there we go. Let's let's close this game out here. We'll maybe run a little bit of bunch. What other weird formations do we have in here? New stack way off. That'll be fun. Let's do that. Oh, they don't have a great stack way off. I take that back. Let's run bunch. We've got verticals. We can run bunch all day. All right, cover three here. I'm looking at the seam on the left. I think it's an easy read. Ah, good play by the safety. <laughs> I needed to put a streak on the right side or something to occupy that safety. Uh, we should have had a touchdown there for sure. All right, what are the audibles here? Bench pivot. Uh, spacing. Let's get... Y lead read option and a call to play deep corner. Just something different. Again, short side bunch is my preferred way of running bunch this year. This is man. So we're going to run something like this. We should have RB though. And he bumped. No. I just threw it no matter what and he just got crazy bumped there. No. He was winning that route. And just ran into this guy. Lit up. That's the problem with man defense, right? It's so inconsistent. That's why it's so good. Alright, go back on D. <laughs> make the same adjustments again. He just keeps bagging him. I've got the short left to the running back. And if he goes on the Texas route. And short left. Good throw. Didn't have a guy there. again. Alright, we're sending Blitz. Blitz comes home. Alright, we're bagging that play. <laughs> you go into it a lot. Uh, we're going to go to Dollar. Just to see if he still runs this. Yeah, we want to send the pressure. Get the play action there. Good. Good little route. Love it. Good play by him. This is, again, the same coverage. We're just cover three in the right, cover two in the left. Even though, again, we're coming out to cover four. That's not open. Good pick. And that should do it. We're on the one. I don't even know if we can take a knee. We might have to do a QB sneak. I think we're going to have to QB sneak. <laughs> it was a good game, though. Uh, the opponent was good. They definitely like knew what they were doing, had a little bit of unique offense, made us think a little bit. I think that's the biggest thing, right? Got to make your opponent think. And they did a good job of that. They're calling timeouts. Wow. Okay. Cool. 
Cool. Call some timeouts. Let's do it. There's man defense again. Guys, the only one waiting up. Doing something like that. Go, Randy. Rub it in, buddy. All right, and that'll do it. Now, again, that is the Broncos offense. You can see the square in my face here. But that's the Broncos offense. I think it's one of the best in the game. Again, um, we'll, we'll cut to the part where I show you where I actually rank it in the list. But it, it's really high up there. It's got a lot of the meta stuff. Let's take a look at the stats, though, real quick, since we actually finished the game out. A lot of these games ended up getting quit out, so we don't have to take a look at the stats. But uh, Rodgers, very, very nice game. Um, 17 for 22. The only ones we threw incomplete, I think, were throwaways. Uh, we did throw the one interception, though. That's true. Um, but other than that, really, really nice game. 303. I think our leading receiver was... I mean, I would be shocked if our leading receiver isn't... Oh, I thought it was going to be Flash for sure. <laughs> he had, he, I mean, he just always, always refused to play hard flats or any type of flat route. So, uh, Calvin Johnson, though, good game. Gronk, good game. Moss and Carter. Carter actually had a bigger play on defense than he did on offense. So, good game. Uh, let's cut to the part, though, where we go over the rankings for the offensive playbook and let you know where the Denver Broncos rank. All right, let's get into where do the Denver Broncos and their offense rank in Madden 23. Now, you can see our current list. We've got the uh, Buffalo Bills. We've got the Cincinnati Bengals, the San Francisco 49ers, and the Chicago Bears. S tier being the top tier, the top playbooks in the game. You've got the A tier, B tier, C tier, and D tier, respectively. You kind of get the idea, I think. Now, where do the Denver Broncos rank? Like, where do they fit in this picture? Now, I personally think the Denver Broncos are up there with the best playbooks in the game. Like, I think it is right up there. They have some of the best formations. Like, it's crazy good. They've got a very good tight offset. They've got a very good bunch. They've got a very good... Um, trips tight end uh offset that type of thing too so as far as i'm concerned broncos belong right here um i think they are not quite god tier but they are really close like really really close to god tier so they're in the a category they're the best playbook that we've used so far um if you're interested in getting that playbook um a little bit of how to run the denver broncos offense check out winmadden.com it's completely free on the website other than that, tune in next time when we cover the Cleveland Browns and we rank their offense as well.